So, Pundit Picks, Jared Bowen is today's player SBC. I've been away for a few days, guys, and that is because I think the content's been quite poor for the last few days in terms of player SBCs for player reviews. But I do quite like the look of this Jared Bowen. An 85-rated squad with an inform and an 86-rated squad of a Premier League player. Four-star, four-star, high medium, five foot nine, controlled, explosive. Has very good alternates, comes out as a right mid, can play centre forward, right wing, and striker which is nice. Of course, being English from the Premier League links are very, very tasty for this card. In terms of play styles, he has got a really good set of play styles. Finesse shot, ping pass, whipped pass, first touch, rapid, and technical plus, which is amazing. An amazing play style plus. One of the best on the game for sure, especially for attackers. Shame he doesn't have quick step. I'd rather that over rapid, to be honest. But still, I do really like his play styles. In terms of attributes... Good pace bit, 92 and 88 respectively there. He's got really good shooting across the board with 90 tap position and 91 finishing, 86 shot power and 87 long shots, volleys and penalties really don't matter on this game. Passing is good in the right areas as well, guys, with 85 vision, 88 crossing, 87 short pass and 82 curve. Now, because he's got ping pass, that's quite nice. You know, to have them, you know, high vision and high short pass is good. With 88 crossing, very decent for the whipped pass as well. Dribbling stats are interesting on this card, specifically the composure and the agility. He's five foot nine, so I'd expect more agility than that. 87 and 91 for agility and balance is still okay, though. Reactions are very good at 89. 91 ball control and 90 dribbling is very nice. And then 86 for his composure is a little bit on the low side, in my opinion. He's not bad in the air with 85 jumping and 79 head and accuracy. You're not really going to get too much from him in the air, though. He's got great stamina at 91. An okay strength at 72. You can see that we've applied a hawk to him. So he's up to 94 base pace now. Up to 94 attack positioning, 95 finishing. 94 shot power and 95 long shots. Which I think is a great boost to the shooting stats. Also gets a little boost to his physicals as well. 76 strength, 73 aggression. And 93 for his jumping. In terms of where you should play this card. I think, you know, he has to be playing on the left hand side. To utilise his trebellas and his power shots. You know, because he's got quite good shooting. You don't really want to be doing finesses with the finesse silver because it's not very good. He's on getting behind and stay forward. Let's get into a few games and see if he's worth the 85 and 86 rated squads. If you need cheap, fast and reliable FC24 coins, make sure to go to MMOEXP.com and use my code VIPER to get 5% off your order. Okay, guys, here we go into the first game now with Jarrah Bowen. Now, I know a lot of people, maybe, maybe this won't get a lot of views, right? Um, because I feel like this card is quite underwhelming for a lot of people. We're going to test it out and we're going to see if he is actually worthwhile. As I say, you know, it's a good card, but it does feel like it's a little bit behind the power curve. And, and maybe we could say that if he didn't have technical plus. You know, technical plus is something that does kind of help this card majorly, in my opinion. I'm going to win that there, no problem. Nice. It's into Bowen as well. Here he goes. Ooh, first few touches. Wow. Whoa, that was great strength there, wasn't it? This card reminds me, though, of just like an upgraded version of the Pundit Picks um, Anthony Gordon we got. Do you remember that card? Ping pass, though, is very, very nice on this card. You know, for cutting inside on the left foot, you're going to be able to do a lot of things there with his uh, ping pass. Here he is again here. A bit of R1 dribbling coming out now. Oh, my days. That dribbling is crazy. Wow, we should have scored there. We really should have scored there. That's a bit unlucky if you ask me dominating this game though here is jared again bit of r1 dribbling again here this guy does not know how to mark this r1 dribbling does he oh my god man his r1 dribbling is insane to be fair his r1 dribbling is absolutely wild that's not sprint r1 dribbling either that is literally just holding r1 or right bumper and just going with it so it's, it's not much more than that and um, but it is still really really nice i wish they gave a card like this tiki taka his passing felt nice there though a great run here too. And he's on side. We're going to go for the Trevella here. It's 2-0. It's a good goal from Jared. It's a good goal. I think I just said Jared. Jesus. Am I Jonathan Ross? Or Jonathan Wass, I should say. Or Boy Hodson? I don't think I am. Right, here we go. Nice. It's Timo. Timo's up. Wow. I, I love that Werner card, guys. <laughs> he, he is ridiculous. Nice. Jared Bowen for a third. What a save. That is from Edison. All over. Wow, go on, Bowen. Uh, this guy's having a bit of a clangor here, though, isn't he? It's a bit all over the shop. We've got this Keesler in the team as well now, guys. Lucky enough to pack her. Nice football. 
Oh, they're bowing. Let's see it. Oh, I thought that was going in. Now, of course, they have nerfed Trevella, so you don't really expect them to go in. But I really did think that was heading goalwards, to be fair. It's been a good start from Bowen, guys. It's been a good start. You know, this guy's a bit of a bit of a dodgy player. There's no doubt about it. Um, but what Bowen offers is really, really tight R1 dribbling and very good finishing outside of that. Nice. Oh, unlucky there, Werner. Unlucky. All over this guy, though, boys. All over him. Here is Davies. I'm driving on the side here and look for Bobby. I'll try and find Bowen again here. Sprint boost. Really good sprint boost. I mean, that should be an assist for him. I hope that does count as an assist. But that is the first game done. Let's get into another. And then, guys, here we go. Second game now coming up with Jared. Hopefully, this is going to be an easy one as well. But I see Mbappe, I see Messi, and I know it's not going to be easy. I'm. Uh, uh, it's a strange time on this game at the moment, right? I think the content has actually been quite good as of late. You know, they're making the game really, really grindable. But I don't know if this card really helps anyone. You know, and that's where I'm at with it. I don't think he's bad. But is he going to get in over your Mbappes or your Sabios? And the answer to that, ultimately, is no, he's not. We're going to go 1-0 down there. That's such a BS goal. Okay, we're full selling as well. All right, come on in, Jared. Let's, let's see what you got, buddy. I'm going to sweat this one out now. He feels really, really, really fast. And because he can spin in like that, you see how quick that, that turn was? I think that's quite nice, you know. Nice, Keesler. Nice. Okay, I mean, I'm not aiming it there, but you can keep going there if you like. Here is Jared, early doors. Nice. That's R1 sprint boost there. Or not R1 sprint boost, but R1 and sprinting. And that felt nice. That did feel nice there. Where is he sitting here? Is that him there? Yeah, it is. Come on, in, Jared. Oh, he feels really, really responsive. I have to give him that. Not all players feel super responsive, but this card does. I know we scored there with Werner. But yeah, he does feel insanely responsive, which is, is is nice to see. You know, there are some cards on this game that I think one straight off the bat here that I've got in my team that's not very responsive is that Gerd Muller. He's not the most responsive card in the world. Um, ooh, 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 nice. Go on then, hit it. Oh, that's such a good save from Neuer. That's such a good save, isn't it? Let's get that back down there. Nice. Into Bowen again here. Oh, oh, I've, try, I've tried to be really, really, really dirty there, haven't I? Nah, that was poor from me. Nice from Werner. Listen, guys, this card is good. But is he going to get in your team over that Werner, for example? I know he's a lot cheaper. It's, it's good for players that have just came onto the game. And that's the strange thing, right? I know we're getting a Ginola SPC very, very soon. And it's like, why would you work towards this Jared Bowen unless you're a West Ham fan or, or an England fan? But even if you're an England fan, I don't think Bowen's really got too many minutes for England. I, I have to say, though, he does feel good. I'm going to do him on my 24-hour road to glory. Because I feel like this card is good for the, that kind of stuff. You know, a, a new account. Oh, my God, that's unlucky. But I, I don't really know if this card is going to change your team. He is good, though. He is good. Maybe as a super sub, then. Well, that's a good take from Bowen there. Find that as well. Nice. Muller. Oh, unlucky. That was a good take from Bowen there, though. To Jared again. What a great take. Again. Oh. He's got to score that, though. He's got to score that. Here he is. Jared Bowen. That's nice. That's a nice goal. Fair play. Bowen's making that run. Nice. We can sprint boost into the space here. Look at that. I mean, that's incredible. Oh, it's a good finish, too, guys. This Bowen is actually very, very good. Wow. The way he turns on the ball is mad. Oh. I haven't aimed that there. But, man, I, I like this card, guys. I actually do like him a bit more than I thought I would. Well on, Jared. That's a good run again. He seems to be on point run-wise. What a little pass that was. And Timo Werner's had a stinker. Has he? Oh, what? I am sorry. What? Nice. Wow. I mean, that is some of the best I want dribbling. I have ever seen. That's even better than Messi's. What? That should not be allowed. How is he that good at that? Oh. Oh, stop it. Oh, it's absolutely lovely. Okay, guys. Review is in on Jared Bowen. And I know a lot of people, as I said at the start, might not look at this video. They might not care about Jared Bowen. But for the people that are watching this, thank you, first of all. This card is actually worth giving a go. 
The reason this card is worth giving a go is because he's got great R1 dribbling. And I mean great R1 dribbling. You use some players that have got technical plus and they're, they're good at doing the R1 dribbling, but they're not absolutely spectacular. Bowen feels like Messi with the R1 dribbling. I don't know what it is, but the way he kind of turns in and out, his first touch as well, I know he's got first touch as a play style, but he really can take the ball in his stride. And it's really quite strange because I've not really seen it from too many people or players on this game. But he can spin on the, the first touch really, really nicely and get into space very quickly because he's got rapid. And then you can go for a finesse shot, a Travella, a cross, or look to just dribble past everyone, which he's really, really good at. Finishing was very good on this card, other than one little mishap that you will see. Pace feels electric. He does feel really, really fast. And his passing is good in the right areas. He's okay at kind of pass and move. He's very, very good for the cutbacks for the ping pass as well. Dribbling, wild, genuinely wild. I was quite surprised how good his dribbling was. You know, you have to kind of, you can look at the video all you like, but you have to try it yourself to kind of know how good his dribbling is. But it is very, very good, guys. He's got, you know, okay aerial abilities, but you're not really going to feel it in game. I did try a few times to get the ball up to him in the air, but he doesn't win a lot in the air at all. I suppose another thing that's quite good about the card, guys, is the great stamina. It means he can go for 120 minutes, or he's going to be a great super sub for you. And that's what I would recommend. If you're watching this and you don't really care about this card, complete him and use him as a super sub because you will get on really well with this card. The technical dribbling on him is wild. Absolutely wild. You're not going to get too much from his strength either. He's not that kind of player. He's kind of like a bobbin weave. Kind of, you know, like Messi. He just hasn't got the passing like Messi does. He does have everything else though, guys. Really, really impressed with him, lads. Honestly, I really do recommend you go and give this card a go. But guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to play review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.